Hey guys. We're out we're, in the wild west. We're, we're off road right now. Look at these dirt roads. <laughs> skirt, skirt. Long story short. Um, I'm back. It's been some time. Hey guys, so we're back and we have a lot to tell you. <laughs> I mean, he has a lot to tell you because I was gone for the past month and a half. Before I say anything, I'm really, really hungry and he is too, so. Dude, food first, <laughs> story <Yo>. second. <laughs> <laughs> After not. we get some daily dose of Panera. Hey guys, it's your boy Bell Grills. Today we're gonna be doing some survival tactics. We're trying to survive out here. Basically, we're looking for Panera. They usually don't belong in the natural habitat, but we have been lucky enough to stumble upon them. That was a terrible accent. I'm really hungry. Let's go. Let's hit it, boys. Oh my god. There we go. Bam. We're gonna feast. So guys, I'm currently trying to buy a baguette, you know? I'm gonna put my four sets back <laughs> in my wallet because you might need it for another fresh baguette. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating the whole baguette. <laughs> He's good. like one of those like gopher hamster things. <laughs> Panera bread. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna find a place to sit here. Okay guys, I'm gonna set my um, Panera bread baguette aside for a minute so we can tell you about... Oh, actually he can tell you all about it. I'm actually gonna continue yeah. eating. Alright guys. So Don't mind me over here. I'm just gonna be... Uh, Munching away. No, I'll stop. All right. Anyways, here's the deal. Stop. Stop. <laughs> On a serious note, though. All right. Let me explain what happened. First of all, I'd like to apologize for the previous video where it got cut off really, really quickly. Cut, cut, cut the video. Cut the video. Cut the video. I was paranoid. I wanted to cut off filming. Anyways. Um, I almost deleted all the footage. I was I'll literally texting him from Russia. I'm like, don't, don't you dare delete it. Yeah, he, he knew me too well. Was, he knew I was gonna flip out and like delete it all, but I kept it and I'm gonna explain to you what we found. Why I'm telling you this, I will explain in just a short second. But listen up. All right, the so I got bullet points to cover. of what I want to cover yeah. today. All right, so what did I find? What did it, you find? I don't know what you found, but what we found, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, right. So, um, as you could have seen in the previous video, it was like a couple of pieces of paper and um, I found out that it's like, it's a letter written in stanzas, basically a poem um, because everything in there rhymes, which I found really, really, really cool. Um, when I initially tried reading it, I could barely make it past the first line. I was like, I, 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 I cannot read it. I wanted to ask this guy to help me, but he was out traveling. Yeah. So I looked up a lot of cursive alphabets online and I found, I basically translated it piece by piece. Then I transcribed it into a Google Doc. Right here, it's really hard to see, but I transcribed it and I'm about to read it to you. I know I do not have the actual piece of paper with me because I touched it and the thing ripped. So I have it sealed, hidden, not at my house, not at his house, in a remote location. I'm gonna read it to you right now. I read it so many times that I basically know it by heart, but I'm just gonna read over what I have here. I'm listening. All right. <clears throat> Story time with Dre Squared. I'm gonna read it now. It starts off like this. Where winds blow south and rocks are plenty, lies gold seen last in 1820. Twas, it's not written was, it's written twas. So, twas hidden far from watchful eyes, the riches of the Cocos Isle. For like a plague, its scythe swept through and stole from Thompson men their life their lives. So, um, as his mates danced the hemp and jig, he sold the truth in bitter strife. He promised to retrieve the gold as long as he was given life. Um, but greatly fooled the Spaniards were, for Forbes and Thompson slipped away. They hid to save their precious gold to keep it safe for future days. Eleven boatloads, Mary dear, and yet no man had found a speck. But many years past Forbes' death, the captain drew his final breath. 
The secret gave he to a man who claimed to be no stranger. His name was Keating, and he swore to save the gold from danger. Well, I'm gonna make a little quick peek to make sure no one is looking at us. <laughs> you're good, you're good. <clears throat> All right, we're good. Um, so sailed he to northern land, his vessel laden fully. Not all at once, of course, but moved the loot was fully. So hid the treasure did this man, but far from where he lies. The water's father holds the gold, deep in his watchful eyes. No soul has known its whereabouts, nor was supposed to, ever. But now I gift ye, not you, ye. Ye. Okay, <laughs> okay. Why ye? But now I gift ye my farewell, and hope ye are as clever. Ye are as clever. Um, it's your boy. So initial reactions. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm clueless. <laughs> okay, like, okay. But my favorite part is like, wait, wait where is it? What oh, is it's right. Then my favorite. Eleven boatloads. Mary dear, you don't try to slide into those DMs if you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's how they did it in the old days. Okay. Yeah, but guys, I'm kind of clueless. Not really sure what's going on. But initial thoughts when I read this. To me, it was just how much a chicken scratch on a piece of paper. It was just ink. I had no idea what it meant. It was just a lot of blotches. It was really hard to deco I had a month and a half though, guys. Give me a break. I finally transcribed it. You're probably wondering, what's going on? Well, it says something about winds blowing south, rocks are plenty, lies gold. Okay, I'm not stupid. I know what that means. There's gold somewhere. Directions. Direct. Some kind of vague, but I know yeah. a lot of places where winds blow in all kinds of directions and there are <laughs> lots of rocks. So whoever wrote this- Bad <laughs> south. Okay, um, and I found out that this was written in Old English. Basically, there was a, instead of writing was, it was like a little apostrophe mark, and it was like T-W-A-S, twas. And there are all kinds of like words like strife. I haven't seen that word in a long, long time. Um, are you that old? Mary, <laughs> Mary dear, men, spec, Forbes, death, Spaniards. What does this all mean? What are these names? Who are these people? What is going on? I kind of got the chest that this, was, that this was related to some kind of like hidden stuff, a whole bunch of shady drama surrounding it, etc. But you know what exactly? I did what anyone with two brain cells would do: Google every single atom out of this paper, and that's what I did for five weeks straight. I googled almost every single phrase on that paper, and then every single word. I put in keywords like Thompson 1800s and Mary Deer, and it was an exhausting process. I had no idea what I was looking for. Okay, basically, I found a real- Hi! What's your vlog about? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Say hi, guys. These are some of our fangirls, you know. Yeah. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Hold on, I'll just pause for a quick second. <laughs> All right, guys, back to where I started. Many nights, I would stay up until 2 a.m., Googling away, finding absolutely nothing relevant. Um, <laughs> many nights, I would think that I would have a lead. I would find some article, like, oh, a dude named Thompson lived in the 1800s. Turns out there were a lot of guys named Thompson that lived in the 1800s. <laughs> Surprise! But yeah, I didn't find anything. I mean, I was Googling all sorts of different guys, going on these long trails for people that did not have any connection to this, but I thought they did. And um, a lot of nights, I would just fall asleep at the keyboard. Um, I eventually found out about the magic of clicking past the first page of Google results. It turns out that uh, the first page is generally consumed with ads, but once you click on that second O in Google, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, you start getting some pretty interesting stuff. One night, I happened to stumble upon an article three and a half weeks in on the, this thing called the Newberg Telegram. It was an article written in the November of 1911, and it mentioned the treasure of the Cocos Island. What did I find in the letter thing? Cocos Isle. Isle, Isle, same thing in my brain. Um, and I was like, bingo! I started reading this thing through and through and through, and um, it was just really confusing. There were a lot of names thrown around, but I found Thompson Keating. I found his name too. And I was like, okay, this is leading me somewhere. I read this thing through and through every day to try and like pick up a new piece of information. It was really confusing, but long story short, it led me through to a couple of other articles. Like I found really cool links. I went through Wikipedia also. I started piecing everything together and I had this amazing feeling going through me. 
And then I found a super awesome article on this website called AdventureQuest.com. It gave a super detailed explanation of the history behind the thing that's mentioned in the letter that I found. So here it is guys, the treasure of Lima. The year is 1820. Revolutionists are planning on taking over the city of Lima, Peru. The viceroy of the city, fearing conquest, decides to move all of his loot out of the cathedrals, out of the city, into a safe location. Where would that location be? The ship of a British trader by the name of William Thompson. The viceroy reaches out to him and he's like, yo, can I load all the stuff on your ship? And Thompson is like, sure thing, dude. And he's like, okay, instructions are simple. Set off the coast of Lima with the treasure until the revolution blows over. The viceroy, still being a little bit paranoid, decides to send a group of guards and a couple of Catholic priests to go with Thompson to monitor the treasure and keep it safe. Everything seems to be going smoothly until gold fever hits Thompson. He's like, yeah, I'm sitting on a treasure trove. This is too good to be true. He convinces his crew to mutiny and assassinate all of the guards that are on the ship. They do so with ease, get rid of everyone. And then Thompson was like, oh my goodness, I got to get out of here ASAP. He quickly bolts away from Lima. His plan, find a deserted island, bury the loot, come back years later once the mat hunt is over, and sail away to a life of riches and pleasure. Well, not so fast. His ship, sailing at top speed, happens to catch the eye of one of the world's most fearsome pirates, Bloody Sword Bonito. He notices that Thompson's ship is sailing low to the water, an indication that the ship is carrying heavy cargo. He quietly follows after them, curious. Meanwhile, Thompson feels his ship slowly sinking and is like, nope, 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 nope. He makes way for the nearest strip of land, which ultimately turns out to be Coco's Island. He arrives, docks, and starts to move the cargo off the ship. It took 11 boatloads to fully transport the loot from the ship to the island. Benito, soon enough, shows up. When Thompson sees that dude's crew, he's like, oh, haha, I'm dead. But Benito plot twist is like, bro, you did what? And he befriends him. The two quickly form a pact because guess what? Benito also buried treasure on the island. Why did he befriend Thompson? Was it pity? Mutual hate for the Spanish Empire? Who knows? So, with new strength and vigor, they gather up their men and go sailing off away in the world's deadliest game of hide and seek. The plan, spend a couple of years on the run from the Spaniards, and then return to cop their loot. What they didn't plan for though, was the part where they get intercepted by a Spanish man of warship on their way to mainland. Talk about bad luck, Bonito and Thompson get into an ugly battle with the Spaniards, but the Spanish eventually overpower them. Bonito, a notorious pirate, knowing what was in store for him, takes his own life with a flintlock pistol. Thompson, witnessing the massacre of Bonito's men and the ultimate destruction of his ship, is forced to surrender. He and his men are arrested and taken to Panama for trial. The trial doesn't last long. Everyone is sentenced to hang. Thompson and his first mate, James Alexander Forbes, watch their men get executed. When their turn comes around, the unexpected happens. They agree to reveal to the Spanish where the treasure is as long as their lives are spared. The Spaniards are like, ha, huh, okay. They quickly agree, tie them up, and set sail. Thompson guides them to Cocos Island, and they eventually land. He tells the Spaniards, hey, I need to take some measurements because I don't really remember where the treasure is, which was a lie. The island was large enough for the Spaniards to believe it, so they temporarily set them free. Thompson knew that upon showing the Spaniards a treasure, he and Forbes would be of no use and they would quickly be executed. So while quote unquote taking measurements, he and Forbes slipped away into the dense jungle area. So they escaped. The Spaniards were furious. They conducted a manhunt that lasted weeks. Thompson and Forbes, with the soldiers at their heels, dashed from place to place on the island, keeping their cover. Eventually, with supplies running dangerously low, the Spaniards would have to call off the hunt. They would leave Thompson and Forbes to die an inevitable death. So they sail away. Thompson and Forbes, however, survive. They live off bird eggs and coconuts for a while, gradually adapting to the island. But the hope of someday recovering their treasure would keep them sane. Months later, a small whaler ship happened to dock at the island. Thompson and Forbes ran out and greeted the stranger. They explained that they had been in a shipwreck, which was perfectly reasonable. No questions asked, they hitched the ride to mainland, but with a secret that no one but them knew. 
It, this is interesting. Wait. It doesn't end here. Let me explain. Um, so they left. You know, they all got on this whaling ship and they sailed away into the distance. I found a bunch of sources claiming all kinds of different information. Some said that Forbes and Thompson landed in like Panama and within a year got infected with some kind of outbreak of a disease and they died, both of them. Kaput, it's over. Other sources claim that Forbes went up to what is now known as California. Back then it was undeveloped land. He married in Forbes, the young guy. He married into a wealthy Mexican family and uh, lived a happy life, but he never came back to the islands. Other sources claim that Thompson chilled with Forbes for a little and then sped off to who knows where, got married, had four kids. Um, everyone is claiming their own piece of information. But there's one fact that is universal amongst all these sources. This man befriended someone else by the name of John Keating. And basically Keating was like, bro, this treasure you're talking about, I can go find. And, and Thompson was like, <gasps> he was really old, so he was like, yeah, go ahead, do it. You know, Thompson was old and frail. The dude's not gonna go back on his own to find this thing. So he was like, yeah, my, my boy Keating, go down there, find this, do what you want. He, he entrusted Keating with the stuff. He gave him the information and um, he heads down there. What happens next? Nobody knows. Here's the thing. Everyone to this day thinks the treasure is still on the islands. Everyone. Um, over the past 200 years, presidents have gone down there. Actors, famous actors. There have been excavation teams. 2015, there was a huge team that went down there with state-of-the-art equipment. Look, it's been going on for 200 years. Nobody found anything. I mean, anything. There was one dude named August Gisler, some Austrian explorer. He went down there and he chillaxed on that island for 19 years. And guess what he found? Six gold coins. What? Not bad. Six coins right here. <laughs> Coming uh, right out. I mean, guys, never mind. I, I, but, um... I, 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 I wouldn't be... I, we have no right to judge. The I dude was talk. passionate. The island is beautiful. And, um, no one found anything. This is where it gets really interesting. I don't think the treasure's on the island. Think about it. All the state-of-the-art equipment, search teams, people, the programs, the projects, the Peruvian government locked it down. Frisked this island like a police officer frisking a drug addict. I mean, they found nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. And that's because I don't think it's on the island. I think my boy Keating went down there, grabbed all the stuff, and pushed it up. Now, here's... Dude. Sorry, kid. I think this is big. Yeah. I like what you're thinking. Yeah. But how does this relate to the, to the poem? You're probably wondering, what is going on? Let me pull it up for you. It all makes sense now. It was hidden far from watchful eyes. You know, the stuff was hidden. For like a plague, its sight swept through and stole from Thompson's men their lives. They were all hanged. All of them. And uh, I googled the hemp and jig. What does that mean? And uh, it meant getting hanged. And it, make, it all makes sense here, you know. Greatly fooled the Spaniards were. They got on the island. Forbes and Thompson were like, bye bye. <laughs> Adios, amigos. And they fled. I mean, they lived on this thing for a while. Now, 11 boatloads and Mary Deer. Mary Deer was the name of Thompson's ship, as you know. 11 boatloads. That's how much it took to transport the gold from the ship to the actual mainland. Um, the secret gave he two men to claim to be no stranger. This letter basically confirms that Thompson spoke with Keating, that Keating was the last source who, ha who was in touch with this thing. And here's what the letter states that I found nowhere online. The fact that Keating grabbed all this loot and sailed up to northern land. Every other source and article states that it's still on the island, which I think is complete bogus. It's like a lie. This states that Keating went up to northern land. This man took everything on a big boat, over time, of course, small shipments, because it says here, not all, at, not all at once, of course, but moved the loot was fully. So I'm assuming over time, this would grab all the stuff and, you know, moved it up north. Where north, though? You know, I looked up a picture of where Cocos Island is. It's off the west coast of South America. I mean, it's far out there, as you can see. It's really, really far out there. And... If you're going straight up north, aka what it says here, say, he, so sailed he to northern land. I mean, it would be going up the west coast. But there was a source that claimed that Keating resided in his final years in Newfoundland, which is on the east coast of America. 
Um, other sources claim that this dude like dabbled around the East Coast and the West Coast. What in the world? You know, it would only make sense that he buried the treasure on the West Coast. I mean, but it's really confusing. Um, but I think we have a lead that no one else does. Yeah. No one else does. Everybody thinks it's on the islands. We basically have a document that's telling us that all of that is a lie. That what we found is not where everyone thinks it is. It's somewhere else. And um, when that realization hit me, I mean, I couldn't sleep. I was legit like shaken. I, it was an awesome feeling, but I was really, really paranoid. And that brings me to why am I telling you this? Why? Um, why, why don't I just, you know, grab this paper, don't tell anyone, you know, and go like head off to northern land, as, northern the, as, land. as the thing says. I know but exactly. This dude, I mean, is. why not? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I personally call me paranoid, but I felt endangered when I read this thing. I was like, I've already told a few close people, you know, back then a month ago, and I was like, I don't want anyone coming after me, breaking into my house, etc., etc. This could be worth a lot, you know, a lot. And um, I, that's what I want to share with you guys. But there's another reason. We have already uh, set up and planned a vacation, not a vacation, we're planning on traveling really soon to uh, find out more information on the last source, the last link to this, to this gold, aka Keating. Where did this man stop? We're going we're gonna to go up the east, yeah, we're the, east coast. the east coast. We're going to go up the east coast and we're going to talk to a few people that, oh, we're going to try and find a few places, a few museums, you know, frisk them and see what, what we can find. But um, why are we telling you this? Why are we vlogging this? Why are we filming this entire thing? Why did I just delete everything and say, screw this, I'm doing this on my own? Well, for a couple of reasons. A, I'm really bad at figuring things out. Um, it took me three weeks to fully like decode this thing here. I'm pretty sure one of you guys could have done it in like two hours, you know? And um, I was never a fan of like solving stuff, you know? doing like mystery stuff. When I was a little kid, I hated mystery novels. I never read them. <laughs> I always read mystery novels. Oh, really? Actually, I never read it all. <laughs> Spark <tell>. notes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I need your help. That's the, the bottom line. I can't do this on my own as much as I'd like to admit it. Um, and I feel like if we all cooperate together and we all, you know, form a big team, aka us and you, that's the only team we really need because you're all that matters. We also want to take you along, guys, because like... Yeah, we want to take you along, because we don't know if we're going to find this or not. But, but it's an adventure. It, it's not every I day like that adventures. something rolls up on your feet on a shore in the middle of nowhere. And I mean, I... Nothing, everything look, happens for a reason, guys. If you're a genius, and you can figure this thing out like that, and you already have some in your mind, please, 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 don't just go off and look for this thing. Can you please let us know? At least comment or something. I mean, if you have any suggestions as to other stuff that we missed out on do post down below like my mom for example wrote over this thing and she right off the bat noticed that 1820 flipped around as 2018 which is the current year Ooh. yeah just in case any time travelers didn't know yeah it's that it's is whack. crazy yeah so yeah guys we're gonna head off we're gonna head off and we're gonna find every single piece we're of info we can we want to take you guys along with this like. so um long story short welcome to the team we're in this together on the hunt for the treasure of Lima.